Hello guys, welcome back to another video. In this video, as you can see, I'm inside the backyard with my Cryptomons here. Cryptomon is a project that I first covered way back in 2022 when they had a launch over on Crypto.com. But since then, I kind of left it alone until recently where I started to follow Pinchaman on YouTube. And if you're interested in Cryptomon, I highly suggest that you go over and follow Pinchaman over on YouTube. He uploads every day about Cryptomon. He is the Cryptomon master. He is the ass ketchup of Cryptomon. But in this video, I just want to let you guys know what type of game this is, what kind of expectations I have to the game and what kind of expectation you could have if you were to start with this game. Now on my channel, I know that mostly we do passive income plays and Cryptomon is for sure not in that category. I learned that the hard way this week. Cryptomon acquires quite a lot of attention, but the basics are to get started, you come over, you know, you have your MetaMask wallet, you load it up with some BNB, then you head over to Marketplace and you pick up your first Cryptomon. Most of the prices are listed in their own token, which is the Kmon token. You can swap for that directly up in MetaMask. You can head over there, hit swap, just type in Kmon, or you can go to PancakeSwap or any of the other usual places where you find them. Price right now for one Kmon is $0.01. It's available at this places right so those are the places you can get it or you can just do it the easy way up in metamask i don't know which one is the best what you would need i think the flow price right now for a crypto one is about 15 dollars all right so with 15 dollars you can get started with this game so let's say you pick one up today for 15 dollars then you head over to the play tab and this what we see right here is the loading and the loading is quite tedious it's quite slow it's a game that is available on your phone you know on android and on apple ios and on the computer here but as you can see it's still in beta so it's a game that you are super early to it's being evolved right now so now the high level overview of cryptomon if you remember tamagotchi this is the first aspect of this game you gotta keep these guys happy and not only happy you gotta keep them full you gotta keep them healthy you got fullness which is the food you got health and then you got happiness you got all of these items here so food to keep this bar up you gotta give them from the food category here so as you see it rising here you can give them an apple it rises he's pretty full now over here you got stuff to make them healthy as you can see i'm dropping these items here and these items you get them for free every single day but you gotta come in once a day to claim it over here you get loot boxes my next loot box is available in 21 hours you get three of them per cryptomon that you hold and then you can use these ones to keep them up to date the next aspect of the game is fighting you know and that's we're pretty early to that but these cryptomon here can go and fight and they can do that either against the computer in a story mode or player versus player for them to fight you gotta have them trained and you can train them over here in the train tab and for them to be able to train again you gotta have all of them above 30 if one of them falls below 30 they will not train so you gotta have them you know tidy and happy and green over here and the way they train is you just drag this one onto them so whatever category you want them to train as you can see there this guy for instance he needs to train a little bit stamina he got 10 in main element he got seven in secondary element nine in attack six in resistance and six in stamina now my cryptomon are babies except for this guy here he's a guy that i just picked up today for 14 dollars and for 14 dollars really you can really get started with this game he will give you three loot boxes every single day the free ones and that is enough to keep him happy you can then take him over here and fight in the dojo get three star training tickets which will train them immediately like now you can see we used a regular ticket on this guy and it takes him 22 minutes to train if i were to use a star ticket these are the star tickets you can see they got stars on them it trains in a second like bam he's done training okay so that is the star tickets you can get three of them per day by going over and defeating the ai over in the dojo every week on mondays you got some quests you can go through and you can earn items you know to complete the quest you need to spend items as well who is this we're looking at uh, he's not happy at all look at this so we gotta treat this guy a little good because he's uh he's slipping you know gotta give him a gift comb his hair give him his vitamins and definitely give him some food 
if two of these parameters go below zero or goes to zero, he freezes and then you would have to spend some money to get him back up alive. Okay, so that is a general overview of what the game looks like. The Tamagotchi aspect of this, the Pokemon aspect in the fighting, and we also got a breeding center over here. So Crypto Kitties, you know, you can take a male Cryptomon, a female Cryptomon, pair them together, create an egg. This egg can then be sold on the secondary market. Now, first of all, when I got into this game, I thought, you know, like, well, we're gonna make some money here. You know, we're gonna breed some and some people are gonna snap them up on the market. That's not really what's going on right now. You know, this is an early game and everybody that is in this game is pretty knowledgeable. It's all supply and demand and right now. Supply is there, demand, not so much. So the way that you can earn money from this game is by getting Cryptomon, train them, and then put them on the marketplace. The marketplace can be found over here. Another way you could do, buy Cryptomon, breed them, produce eggs, put them on the marketplace. All of this takes time, you know? And if you're not interested in playing the game, then don't. This is not gonna make you money. This is not the way, at least not right now. Maybe in the next bull market where everything just shoots up, it's gonna be good, you know? Now, the price here of the Kmon token, if we take a look at, at how it has been going, it's been going down over the last year, but in this year, it has actually uh, gone up a little bit. Now it's again down. So we're waiting for more features to be implemented into the game. And whenever things get announced and things get implemented, we will see hikes in the price. If this game managed to become mainstream or go back to a price of 20 cents, and right now it's at one cent. So as you can see, there is a potential just in the price. And over here, if you're playing the game, you can also stake some Kmon. Uh, you're not earning more Kmon, you're earning candy. And these candies can be used for the in-game items. So this is not a passive income opportunity for you. This is a crypto game that is super early, super early. There are so many things that can be done better, smoother. And that is why they're in beta. They're still working on it. Their app is not yet a native app to iOS. It is one of those uh, test links, but the team seems to be always improving and implementing new things. So it's like slow and steady in the end. Only get involved with this game if you have some free time on your hand. And that is every single day or every second day. You gotta check in, make sure that your Cryptomon are fed, happy, healthy, and so forth. If you're not interested in that, you know, I'm not saying that you should get into that, you know, but if you are a Pokemon lover from back in the day, maybe you want some of those nostalgic feelings. Maybe you have a kid that wants to play something, you know, where real economics is actually involved with it. Why not? As always, nothing is financial advice. I'm not related to the team, to the project or anything like that. I do hold my four Cryptomon. I'm playing this game, trying to see what it is, you know, and hopefully one day I'll have the team on for an AMA. So leave your questions down below if you have any for the team. And guys, see you in the next one. Bye-bye.